Hey guys, my name is Anna and I am a new homeschool mom of five and today, if I can get them up here, I am going to be sharing all of our read alouds with you guys. So stick around if you want to see what my third and sixth grader are reading this year. Wow, this is more than I thought and it's a little bit trickier than I thought to be able to hold all of these up. But I'm going to go through them with you guys. So starting off, I just want to say that I have a, um, my daughter's going into third grade. We're more like on a second grade reading level and my son is going into sixth grade and he is a little bit advanced in reading. What I wanted to do was share with you guys our read alouds we're going to be reading together with both of them that I'm going to be reading. And then also uh, my, my son's more like he's doing more independent reading some of these. So they're his book studies. And then my daughter, um, we're going to be doing some shared reading. I'll be doing some read alouds with her because she's just not quite where she, she's not quite to where she could read a full chapter book on her own. So we'll go ahead and start with, I have them all mixed up. We'll go ahead and start with our read aloud that we're going to be reading all together. I plan do, um, on doing this. I plan on doing this in our morning basket. I'm going to get a glare right here. I plan on doing this book in our morning basket. It is Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Um, I tried to really go through and pick books that I knew had some different awards and things. So a lot of these have the Newbery um, Medal Award. This one included. I originally picked this book for my son to read as a book study, but then kind of looking through it, I realized that I think my daughter would enjoy the storyline. So we're gonna do this one in the morning in our morning basket and start with that one for everybody. So I'm excited to read this one. I read really good reviews about it. And then from there, um, I'm gonna go ahead and share some of our uh, my read alouds I'm gonna do just with my daughter. Like I said, she's going into the third grade, but um, we're not quite to where we could read um, chapter books on her own. So these are gonna be the chapter books that I read aloud to her. We are already reading, where is it, Charlotte's Web. We are reading Charlotte's Web together, so we're gonna start by finishing Charlotte's Web. And um, once we finish Charlotte's Web, we'll move into um, some of the other books. We're not too far into it, honestly. But she's read this, she's seen the story, I'm sorry, she's seen the movie. She's, um, we're enjoying the book. I remember reading the book as a third grader, I believe what third grader doesn't read Charlotte's Web. So that's gonna be our first, first book that we read. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and read Pippi Longstocking. Now we started Pippi a while back and for some reason we didn't finish it. We started doing Charlotte's Web. I'm not sure what happened there, but we're gonna go ahead and go back and probably restart Pippi because it's been, it's been a little while. So we're gonna restart Pippi after we read Charlotte's Web. And then I have a couple of other books that we will read throughout the school year. I don't know how fast we'll, um, since they are read alouds, um, I don't know how fast we'll be able to get to them, but I just wanted to go ahead and share which ones we had. So I have, um, I have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for her. So we'll read this one. And then we'll also do Matilda. Um, she's seen the, the movie Matilda and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But we're gonna read both of these books. And then um, I might even get the other two books on the back, James and the Giant Peach. I remember reading that in elementary. And then the BFG, I think I read that to um, one, I think I read that to my fourth graders at school whenever I was teaching. I'm not 100% sure though, but if it's a storyline that I think, I think it was called the BFG. So we might look into those if we get through both of these books, which we will obviously. And then um, I also got Because of Win Dixie. Um, that's another one that I know that um, the, sorry, I'm like right in front of a window, so. That's another one that I know that the third graders at the school I previously taught at read. So I went ahead and picked that because I have not read because of Winn-Dixie. Um, so we're gonna read that. And then I did this book. Um, it's by the same author, but um, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. I don't think that's focusing on the book. I'm sorry. The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. This is such a good story. It's a really good storyline. I remember reading it to um, my third graders whenever I taught third grade and I started off the school year with this book. They really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm actually even considering saving this book to read after our um, Miss Frisbee and the Cat, the Cats, <laughs> the Rats. 
um, and reading this one as a read aloud to both of them after we finish this one. So I don't know. We'll see what goes because I think my son will also enjoy the storyline of the Edward Tulane book. It was a really good a really good story. If you guys have any recommendations for other stories or other books that um, would be a good read aloud for both of them, I would appreciate you leaving them in the comments below because after these two, I really don't know what to what to do because I'm like either go either um, gearing stuff towards her or him, and I want to find books that they will both like and be able she can still follow along pretty easily. And then I also picked up some of the Magic Tree House books for her. I picked up books one through four. I am thinking that she'll be able to read through these as independent or independently in December or maybe early next year. It'll probably be her first little chapter book that she's able to read independently. We've been working really hard on reading this summer. So she's getting more confident and more fluent. And I think that she will really enjoy being able to read through these and think they're really cool as a little chapter book. So I picked up um, books one through four. My son said he loved these books. He read most of them whenever he was, I think like in first or second grade. So um, I've never read any of them, but I've heard good things. So I'm excited to read these, but I picked up Dinosaurs Before Dark, The Night at Dawn, Mummies in the Morning, and Pirates Past Moon. So if you are a Magic Tree House fan, and if you think we should finish out the series, or we'd want to finish out the series after we finish these four, let me know below. I have my more of like independent book studies for my sixth grader and these will probably only be half of the books that he reads this year. So if you have any recommendations of um, appropriate books for a 12 year old boy, but is also um, kind of like above grade level, it's really hard I feel to find um, books that are appropriate for a 12 year old, but then also are challenging. So if you have any recommendations other than the ones I'm about to share, you can also leave those below because I would be, um, I would love to hear what they are. I'm going to share what my um, sixth grader is reading. Okay, so first of all, I got, or the first one on the, on the, um, I got Walk Two Moons. This was a recommendation from a friend of mine who teaches sixth grade. It's actually a former um, coworker of mine that we taught together, but she's now teaching middle school reading. So she said that she uses um, that her students and her read this book last year and they really enjoyed it. So I got a walk, walk to moons. Um, I also got the giver. Um, this one was a recommendation from the librarian at um, a former school I worked at, also my son's former librarian, so she kind of knows how he, who, you know, who he is as a reader. Um, but he told me he already read this book. I didn't realize it. So I might keep this book and read it for myself because I've never read The Giver and it does have a Newbery Award and, um, and keep it around for my other kids as they, as they grow older. So The Giver, heard really good things about The Giver. I got Freak the Mighty. Um, this one says, uh, that's what Max thought all of his life. He'd been called stupid, dumb, slow. He didn't help. It didn't help that his body seemed to be growing faster than his mind. It didn't help that people were afraid of him. So Max learned how to be alone, at least until Freak came along. Freak was weird too. He had a little body, but a really big brain. Together, Max and Freak were unstoppable. Together, they were Freak the Mighty. So it's a story about friends who are so different but have the same um but are the same and um how they take on the world so I thought that was cute i'm sure that's a really good storyline i've not read i have not read freak the mighty um holes that's like a no-brainer for middle school so i'm excited for him to read holes i remember reading holes in sixth grade so we're gonna do that one and then we have Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. I have not read this one either, um, but I thought that would be a good story. I read good reviews on it. It's the vivid story, or this vivid story shows the rich inner rewards of black pride, love, and independence. And then on the back it says, humiliation and fear seems to rule the lives of Cassie Logan and her family, but they have one thing that no one can take away, their land. And with that, and with that, to hold them together, nothing can tear them apart. So I'm sure this is a really, a really good book too. And then I went ahead and got him the first book to the Mysterious Benedict Society story. 
Earth Society. I don't know if what the series is called, but that's this one. No, yeah, that's the, that's the series. So I got book one. Um, I got book one. There are, I believe, six in the series. So if he likes this, I'm sure he'll read the rest of the series this year too. But um, this was another New York New York Times best-selling series. So if you have any recommendations, whether it be for my daughter. Um, my third grader or my son who's a sixth grader please leave them below because I um, I mean it's easy for me just to search different books and stuff on Pinterest or on Google but I'd love to hear like as a homeschooling mom what your kids are reading and then also I need some shared read aloud recommendations so I'd really appreciate if you leave those below as well but yeah those are our novels that we're going to be reading this year or at least the start of them so i hope if anything you were able to jot down a few titles if you didn't or you're here to help me out and leave me some recommendations below but i appreciate you um you coming around and hanging out with me and i hope you enjoyed today's video i'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and i hope that i'll see you next time